Welcome to this video. I call it this 6B because it's the second part of video 6 regarding the use of plugins in the tools menu. For that purpose, we're going to use the um, <clears throat> this file which was called number 6. Getting started number 6 and I'm going to increase the size by 25%. It turns out that I have a a second area right here called plugins and we're going to open it up. I'm going to actually going to push it down to the next page. Okay. Plugins are found under tools, plugins, and then you get this box. In this box it's actually a use for all kind of extensions. And so here you have a number of applications that are extensions in SMI Studio. Specifically, we're dealing with plugins. But also, there's interactive books. There's one interactive books, interactive books, sorry, available. There are examples, handbooks. At this point, there's none. And for SMI Studio itself, there is the desktop, the application itself. For applications, we don't have any, and for snippets, we're going to talk about those later on, translations, all the translation in the different languages. But of interest to us is plugins. And if you can see here, <coughs> there is a listing, and there are plugins that are in a pink color over here, and those that are in a green color over here. The ones in the green color are the ones that are activated when you load, when you load SMAS Studio. And so the area region is available, but not the other ones like custom function, this link 106. I mean, they are available. They're not loaded. The HTML file type is, and so on. So I have a list in here in my in a text box that shows that enabled by default are the area region, HTML, and so on. These are the applications that actually make the software uh, work. And for example, you have standard toolbox buttons. It refers to the tool, the, the toolbox that we have. Uh, text region, it's a plugin that produces text regions in the program and so on. So this is what you basically need to get the software room going. But available also, there is a number of other plugins that are not active. If you ever need to activate one, what you have to do is go to the Tools menu, Plugin, and find the one that you want to activate. For example, say Cephas Mathematical Library. What you do is select that and click Enable. When you click Enable, then SMAS Studio is going to be looking for the source files and make them available, and then it will turn that into a green and then a number of functions that come with that plugin will be available. Um, we're going to be talking about plugins later on in more detail, but at this point I'm going to disable that particular one. And so that is the the issue related to plugins. I was supposed to be in video number six for the Getting Started series, and I'm doing in this um, shorter video called video 6b dealing with plugins and that was the end of this particular short video